so today I'm going to show you how to create images in Pixlr, um, how to use the layers to do that. So I showed you about your history. So this is where all of your um, artwork will show up. So you can always use um, an existing image and work on it. So there are two ways that you can create an image. So I'm going to create um, an image from scratch and from a stock search. So let's say I want to create from scratch. These are all pixel sizes. So if you want a specific size for your artwork, like for example, iPhone wallpaper, you're gonna to wanna to Google it. So I know that the iPhone X wallpaper is 1125 by 2436. So I'm gonna use that, those dimensions, and I'm gonna enter them right here. And you can add the name of, the, of your artwork as well. And you can choose to give it a background or no background. I'm gonna give it no background so I can show you how to find a color that you'd like. So there's one way you can start an artwork. Another way is through a stock search. So all of these images are already in Pixlr that you can search and look up. So I'm gonna go ahead and look up the color green. So I'm gonna do a Billie Eilish one. And so I'm gonna look through and see if there's anything that I like. Um, I like this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And again, you can change the size. So I'm gonna adjust it so that way I can create a um, desktop or a background for the Surface Go. The Surface Go background is 1800 by 1200. So I'm gonna hit apply and it'll show up right there. If you go to home and start a new um, project, both of the projects are gonna show up almost like tabs. So I'm going to start by showing you how to um, change this into a different color. So in order to use a color, you have to go over here and you can pick different colors. Now I would like to do a, um, I'd like to do a Billie Eilish one. So I'm gonna just look up Billie Eilish hex colors. So a hex color is a number that goes with a color. So every color digitally has a hex color. So I'm gonna come over here and look at the images and see um, what pops up. So here I can see a couple different colors. Um, and I know that her hair is green and I kind of like this dark green, so I'm gonna use it. The number is 10CA09. So I'm gonna go back to where it says hex and I'm gonna go 10CA09. I'm gonna click okay. And automatically that color showed up. So automatically when you enter that hex number, it's going to go directly to that color and show up. So from there, I can actually hit this paint bucket. This fills um, a whole space. So I can click on my background and change it. I'm gonna come back over to my other image. And I'm just switching back and forth to give you a couple options. So I'm gonna start working with these layers over here. So layers are exactly what they sound like. They're, they're layers, they go on top of each other. And the good thing about layers is you can delete them, hide them, change them around. It's good to put different things each time you add something to your artwork to put it on a different layer. So that way you can choose to delete it and it won't interfere with the rest of your artwork. So I already have my background. When you select a background, it automatically locks itself. And so you're gonna wanna change that in settings. So the settings are right here. It's these three little dots, you can click on it. You can actually rename your layer so that way it will make um, sense to you and you won't get confused. You can blend layers. I'm gonna show you that in a minute when I add another picture. You can change the transparency so you can change how visible your image is. 
And then right here, you can lock and unlock your image. You can also hide it if you want it to be away from your whole artwork for a little while so you can work on something else. And you can make it visible again. You can also merge layers. Um, that means you're just combining them into one. You can also copy a layer too. Um, and then finally, you can delete it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add a picture of Billie Eilish on top. So I first want to go and Google a picture of her. So I'm just going to type in Billie Eilish on the image search. Make sure your safe search is on. And I'm going to look through and see what I like. I like this picture um, because it's got a lot of similar colors to my background. So I'm going to go ahead. You can save the image if you want onto your tablet, but the easier thing to do is copy and paste it. So in order to copy an image, you want to use your keyboard and the, the you're gonna wanna press Control and C. Control C is, a, is the copy key um, for your um, keyboard. So you can also um, press down and copy the image. And then you can come back here and press Control V and it'll paste it for you. So when it pastes, it's gonna paste as a new layer. And you can go ahead and rename that layer just to keep it organized. So now, because this image is on top, like I said, layers, if you layer one thing on top of another, you can't see your background. So let's say I wanna resize this image. I can make sure you're on the layer that you want to be on, and I can actually click the, the arrow button over here and zoom out if I need to. And then I can move this around, or I can make it smaller or bigger. Another hotkey is undo. So if you want to undo something, you can hit Control Z. And if you want to redo it, you can hit Control Y. So next, I'm going to show you how to blend these two layers together because you want to be able to see both of your images. So blending is like mixing things together, just like a recipe if you use the blender. So if you go to blend mode, there's going to be a lot of options for you. Um, you can just go through them and decide which ones you like. There's a lot of different options and you can take your time and look at them. I'm gonna choose this one. Um, and I can also change the transparency of it. So I can make it less or more visible again. I can also change the order so I can have my background on top and try to blend it that way. And it might look a little bit different. Um, it might not, but, and you can also darken or make it more visible or less. So that's one way to kind of blend things together and start a project. The second way is to create um, a collage kind of using transparent images. So if I want to look up an image with no background, meaning like nothing's in the back, I want to either look up the letters PNG or transparent. I always look up PNG first just because it's easier. And I can find a bunch of different images. And I can click on the ones that I like. So I kind of like this image. So I'm going to go ahead and again, copy it, control C. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and paste it, Control V. Now, I don't want that white background. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my cutout tool right here. And I'm going to select mask. Because the background is plain white, it means I'm, it's not going to, it's going to be really easy to cut out. All you have to do is click it, and it'll go away. So now you have this image that you can use for your wallpaper. Make sure that once you're done with the cutout, you go back to the arrow. Otherwise, you're gonna start cutting out things you don't need or don't want, don't want to cut out. 
So I might um, choose to, I think I'm gonna arrange it, put her right here, like that. And then let's say I want on the, the exact image up here as well, up on this corner. I can actually go over here and click duplicate layer and I can get a copy of that picture. And then I can move it. So if you're in the arrange, um, to, uh, if you're using the arrange tool, you'll see that there's a bunch of options right here. So you can actually rotate your image so that way you know that it's straight and you can add it like that. You can also take and click on the circle and move it that way. But I prefer just to use the rotate buttons and the flip buttons. So that way you know that it's straight and you're not gonna have any issues with it. So I'm trying to get it very similar. So that's about right. Let me go ahead and do that. And then I may even want to add another picture, possibly. So I might add, um, let's see. I like this picture. So I can go ahead and copy it. I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to paste it. I'm gonna select my cutout tool, my magic mask, click on it and it'll go away. Make sure you're back to hitting the arrow and then you can resize it and sort of start layering things together. Now you don't have to use a person, you don't have to use um, anything specific, but if you're going to create um, something in Pixlr, you are going to have to add layers to your um, artwork. So one more thing that you can also do, if you don't wanna use PNG, if you wanna make it more like a collage, you can actually just put pictures, copy and paste pictures together just like you would like any normal collage. A collage is when you put things, like put images together. Um, so as you saw, I just um, hid some of my layers. So I hid some of my layers so that way I could start a new, um, sort of add more um, layers and see what I liked. So I think, So you could take a picture of yourself and add it here and you could put stuff you like around it. You can actually um, also, you can select colors from pictures. So if I click this, if I select this picker tool, I can actually go and find different colors that are in this picture and I can, the same way I did the hex, I can pick the bucket tool and um, fill it in with whatever colors I want. And then again, I can copy and paste and add different layers together. Um, so yeah, that is everything. Thank you for watching.